shall receive power. June 20. Human voice, a channel for divine voice. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. When he who is a co-laborer with Christ presses home the truth to the sinner's heart in humility and love, the voice of love speaks through the human instrumentality. Heavenly intelligences work with a consecrated human agent, and the Spirit operates upon the soul of the unbeliever. Efficiency to believe comes from God to the heart, and the sinner accepts the evidence of God's word. Through the gracious influence of the Holy Spirit, he is changed and becomes one with Christ in spirit and purpose. His affection for God increases. He hungers after righteousness and longs to be more like his master. By beholding Christ, he is changed from glory to glory, from character to character, and becomes more and more like Jesus. He is imbued with love for Christ and filled with a deep, unresting love for perishing souls, and Christ is formed within the hope of glory. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. We need more of the working of the infinite and far less trust in human agencies. We are to prepare a people to stand in the day of God's preparation. We are to call men's attention to the cross of Calvary, to make clear the reason why Christ made his great sacrifice. We are to show men that it is possible for them to come back to their allegiance to God and to their obedience to his commandments. When the sinner looks upon Christ as the propitiation for his sins, let men step aside. Let them declare to the sinner that Christ is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Encourage him to seek wisdom from God, for through earnest prayer he will learn the way of the Lord more perfectly than if instructed by some human counselor. He will see that it was the transgression of the law that caused the death of the Son of the infinite God and he will hate the sins that wounded Jesus. As he looks upon Christ as a compassionate, tender high priest, his heart will be preserved in contrition.